you want to press the button to disable one of the locks on the Zero Lab? You heard the professor. Better press it. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Okay. What's this say? Thanks to my prototype Terra Orb, I secured corporate funding for my research and made a laboratory in the lighthouse near Cabo Poco. Someday, though, I'll return to the crater and resume my study of these crystals. Seems like that might have been Sada. Okay, forwards. I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Time for the backstory reveal. <laughs> so I was busy with work, hardly ever came home. My boss did, yeah. So yeah, I don't really know her yet at all, even if she's my mom. I try not to think too much about it. I've seen her for ages now. Was stuck a couple years ago. Some family, right? But we're not here to judge or anything. Should have snapped at you like that. It's giving you a hard time. Penny, my name's Penny. Pretty nice for a little pips week. The spirit, you too. Um, what is? It's like a tiny little ledge. Can I get back up this if I come down? Yeah, it looks like your shoes are. They work pretty well here. They don't usually work that well. In not. The crater, but I guess they figured you could softlock yourself if they didn't make those rocks easily climbable. Oh man, white flower floets are all over the place here, aren't they? is just so big. It's so kind of hard to poke around fully, especially with that car right on. Hopefully you unlock the ability to ride it later down the line, probably after you deal with whatever's making it so scared. But it's not really great crater. I was trying to see my mom. Got about this far and then got attacked. What was it? It's not even like a Pokemon, more like it's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average. It's like a completely different creature altogether. It hurt my boss stiff real bad. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It's that strong, huh? I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You're real tactless sometimes, Nimona. Hmm, the greed. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess he probably doesn't understand just how badly Mabastif was hurt. Maybe. Of course, him saying that almost certainly means that it's gonna be like the next milestone like that Glamora was. Like, uh... 
mini boss for this section, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I guess it's probably one of those Pokemon that was in mentioned in a culture, the Scarlet Book. Hmm. Okay, yeah, there's a TM at the end of this, so it's not just pointless. Flame Char- Goodness. Why does everything have to be so aggressive in here? Everything's actually aggressive in here, but those drafts sure are. Goodness. Um, let's see. Oh, doesn't look like there's really any balls or anything around here. We concentrated the sunlight down here, anyways. Okay, well, there's another research station. Ah, a wild garganackle or whatever it's called. Oh my gosh, nope, nope. Leave me alone. I think we were above that slope already. I'm not sure we can climb up it without co ride on anyway, so. Second research station. About time, too. Whew, let's let's head in and take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <sighs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. Oh my god, <laughs> I look at Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here too. I don't know, that one looks like a little fuzzy demon. Oh! Oh my gosh, so cute. It's paddle time. Can I catch it? Can I catch it this time? Catch? Catch, please. Oh, and he's here. Scream tail. I don't, yeah, I mean, it doesn't even pull up. The option. Um. Heck, it doesn't even give me access to my Pokeballs here. It doesn't even let me try. <laughs> um, I mean, it's probably still fairy type, right? At least part fairy type. Got some bulk behind it. Let's try brick break. I mean, I doubt it's gonna do anything. Yeah, that's just completely resisted. Holy crap. Part psychic? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter because it's almost certainly still part fairy. And Dragon Claw can't do anything against that. Icicle Crash is technically stronger, anyways. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. 
it was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. It was just a little tiny demon. Not even a big demon, just a tiny demon. Pokédex okay, has been updated with screen tail data. Ooh, quiet mint. Okay, inside we go. Well, this pretty much looks the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think maybe that Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? Yeah, I've already read this. Yep. Monsters of Area Zero? So they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Ninky? Well, I don't think they're regular Pokemon, but I think they're still a type of Pokemon. Maybe. They definitely do look different, at least, and I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex either. I have. It's, <laughs> it's literally in our Pokedex, but I guess you never encountered Great Tusk like I did, so... Uh, whatever. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient po- Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I'm located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. Really? Why? So the thing my mom spent forever researching down there, she actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past, however, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now then, Nikki. Please use the central panel here and disable- yeah, yeah, yeah. Disable another lock. I got it. I got it. Time machine feels like we're stumbling into a sci-fi novel. Can't be, just can't be any other than who? Can't believe I get to battle Pokemon from a whole different era. At last I can resume work on the Terra project. I'll move my research to the Zero Lab this month. My team will be smaller, but no matter. The strong influence of the crystals makes our experiments much more unstable. The crystals' power is tremendous. Their unstable output made our corporate backers fret. But if we can harness this energy, it will open up research possibilities we'd only dreamed of. At last, Paradise will be ours to create. Oh, I should press the switch, shouldn't I? Well done. Please continue your efforts. Uh-huh. Hey, Nikki. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not one of the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Uh, thanks. 
Yeah, the book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me, okay, Nikki? Um... Here's this item. You can see illustrations and notes from long ago. I mean, we already know the book is accessible elsewhere, so I feel like they should really let you actually look at it like you can the one in the in the front hall. It just feels weird that you can't. What's your parents like? Normal, I guess. Even I knew about your dad, she's on the board of the Rotom phone. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that he's famous, I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. Just actually some pantsered princess? No, that's not my thing. So, yeah. Hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will take over the business, so... Do you call them mother and father? That is some pampered little princess stuff. Is your family super normal then? Unbelievably annoying. You're super overprotective. It's just my dad. It's the most oh, come on. He's just being sweet. Having his own daughter describe him like that. Don't you dare take his side. Your mother seems super nice. You met her. Got a glimpse of an amazing looking sandwich she made too. I could have seen that, but it tasted great. Oh, come on, you guys got distracted. What about me? I want to know about my family, too. Peace. Is there anything? Hmm. No. No, there's nothing in those crevices. Oh goodness, that B sharp just scared me. Oh, speaking of B sharp. I was wondering if his evolution method might be location, like maybe it could only evolve in the Great Crater or something. Um. But I don't know. I guess I'll just experiment with that later, because... Uh, I want to keep my team for now. Again, that doesn't look like a slip. I can actually go up. Of course, I continue to not even try, but still. Elixir. Oh, 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 but it's a nook. I want to look in the nook. No, Giraffe, why? <laughs> oh, I think stuff's starting to creep up in levels, actually. Oh, that's just a weird lighting. Sneasel, Pomo, say why. Oh my goodness, is there anything interesting in here? Like, is wireless at least? What? Oh, that's an Espeon that's stuck in the wall. That's weird. A little bit awkward, but... Oh, yes, it's wireless! Well, thank goodness. I desperately hope we can catch a high dragon somewhere, too, because I hate leveling these things up! It evolves at such a late level! <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, yeah, I'll just let you Rocky Helmet yourself down in the HP. Or, no, come on, use the body slams. Body slams, please. <sighs> okay, Dragon Rush, that also works. Um... Let's get a yawn off on you. Try using waterfall. I just get nervous. Not fully evolved, but I don't think this line is particularly bulky either. Okay, yep, that's a Vaporeon stuck in the wall. I see it runs on the family. heads do not get along at all. If you don't give each head the same amount of attention, they'll begin fighting out of jealousy. I want to eat you! Okay, anyways. Um... It's in the water. What's in the water? Is anything in the water? There might just not be anything in the water. It's a little sad. Okay, there's another Zwilus. Um, I'll hold off on catching an extra for now in case I can find a high dragon somewhere. Um. Oh, that's just a group of, yeah, gosh. Like, what are all these tiny little Pokemon? Yeah. Dogs. It's more dogs. They're super cute, though. And here's even more dogs. Look at them all. Cave is a lot bigger than I expected. I mean, the last one I went into was just a tiny little alcove, basically. But this... This one is not. Chancy hanging out. Okay, this is a dead end, which means I have to walk, like, all the way back. Well, fine then. Oh, Volcarona, I need that too. Let's go. Shadow Ball. Oh, never mind. It's faster than me. Nice. Okay, it can be. It could use another yawn over here.
Hmm. Wait and jab. Holy crap, you did not have to get a crit. You just scared me. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, now it should be relatively easy to catch. Um, netball, sure. And a critical capture. Goodness. Its burning body causes it to be unpopular in hot parts of the world, but in cold ones, Volcarona is revered as an embodiment of the sun. Okay, which direction are we going over this way? I think so. Um, yeah, I guess everyone's fine. I mean, I'm not going the wrong direction, am I? Did I get turned around? No. <laughs> oh, right, another research station. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out at us again, 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Penny, such a worry wart. <gasps> see? See? Wait a sec, this is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? Well, oh, you battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Nikki and I are all pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Okay, this is like fighting ground type, I'm pretty sure. Bostiff, you did try. No one can fault you for that. See that? Victory's ours. Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Urban Mystica came from down here. Yet your mom literally told me that. You two got to meet one of those Pokemon before a crater get together? Jealous. Um, if we've got things from literal ancient times roaming around Palea, there's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could she let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like, oh, so brilliant, Professor Sada ever messes up. Come on, Nikki, let's get into that research station. Um, sometimes there's stuff behind these. Yep. Lemonade. Uh, 
haven't made it to station number three. How are we doing after all that walking and battling and whatnot? Anyone need a rest? Mm. You feeling rough, Penny? Mm, oh no, it's not that. I've just been thinking ever since the professor mentioned that time machine. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came to our time from the past, right? So what about Coridon? Isn't it pretty lucky that it's also pretty likely that it's also one of those ancient Pokemon? Huh. I think you're onto something. It is kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Coridon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Urgh, you still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I have got no choice then but to tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Coridon, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the expla explanations at this point. Professor, go right on, which I entrusted to Nikki, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through analysis of its genetic makeup, as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was in fact an ancient form of Cyclozer, the Pokemon still commonly written in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokemon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean there's another one around here somewhere? What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly. Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Family, huh? Yeah, that sounds nice. If we could proceed, Nikki. I read this book. I successfully brought more and more ancient Pokemon to our time since the first one. I'm so close to creating a world like the one in the book, a paradise where we can, where we three can live happily together forever. I must make it real. Our time machine research has yielded a triumph, a Pokemon from the ancient past. I've named it Coridon. I was expecting one new life to treasure, but what fortune to be blessed with this gift as well. Um, okay. These plot twists really tug at the heartstrings, don't they? Sure. Um, yeah, we've made it a good chunk further. I think this will be a dis decent place to wrap up for now. Even deeper we'll go next time. Yes. <laughs>